Now at 6 a.m. on WKYT This Morning, we're tracking the investigation into a school bus accident after a child was dragged down a central Kentucky road. A head-on crash in Lexington killed two people and injured two others. Speaking of schools, there's not too much out there right now in terms of kids going off to school. I think they'll be okay, but it's when they're in school. That's when we have our next best chance at some snow. Maybe even some light accumulations, too. We'll go over the latest forecast coming to you next. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Top of the morning to you and welcome. It's good to have you with us here on WKYT. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. We're just getting word into our newsroom that Laurel County has canceled class for the day. Right. So it's depending on where you are, there's some issues uh, here and there this morning. But again, Laurel County schools will be closed today. It's Thursday, January 15th. We probably are in the time of the year when you can expect some snow, but we haven't had much. Let's check in right now with meteorologist Micah Harris in our first alert weather center. And guess where I was going to uh, two schools for today? Well, well, you don't go now. Laurel County. <laughs> That's exactly oh, wow. right. Laurel County. So I'll get back with you guys and we'll come see the kids some other day. But school's canceled for you guys again. This will make the third straight day, I believe. Second or third, one of those. But anyway, enjoy the snow day. You may even get some snow later on. And I do believe there is a good chance for that region, too. So, more than likely, that was a pretty good call there in Laurel County. First alert defender live radar. Remember, it doesn't have to be much snow to actually get things on the roadways and cause some major issues because these roads are still really cold. And here comes the bulk of the snow. Most of it really falls uh, when the kids are in school. So that's the kind of issue, the situation that's going to be going on. A few flakes out and about uh, for today, 34 degrees, maybe even some sunshine to the north too. But the focus of the forecast, just a roller coaster ride. It's up and down with this weather pattern. We have snow today, better and nicer weather the next couple of days, and then snow again after that. So I'll really go to, uh, through this, jot down the details coming up in about 10 minutes. And we'll enjoy that upside. <laughs> we thank you very much, Micah. Here's the latest now from WKYT News. A Clark County student is recovering this morning after being dragged down the street by a school bus. The school hopes that surveillance video will help in the investigation. WKYT Mark Barber is live in Winchester to explain what we do know about this accident. Good morning, Rebecca and Bill. Investigators say that that elementary school student is recovering at UK Hospital this morning. He's being treated for road rash and cuts to his face after he was dragged underneath a school bus, face down on the road for 15 to 20 feet. Now, a witness who saw this all happen tells us that when the student was getting off of the bus, his jacket caught in the door of the, uh, caught in the door of the school bus, and then he was stuck underneath the bus and dragged face down on that road. Now, the witness says when that bus finally came to a stop, he ran. He dove right under that bus, getting next to that student, telling him to hold on. That hope was coming soon. Now, investigators tell us that they are currently looking through the surveillance video on the school bus, trying to figure out what their next step needs to be. And we'll be investigating it to make sure that we, if there's any deficiencies anywhere in our in our system or our protocol will make those corrections immediately. Now when we ask the Clark County Superintendent what the protocol is for bus drivers, he says that all bus drivers must make visual contact or must make visual confirmation that their student has reached their final destination safely. He says that they are not taking this matter lightly. Live in Winchester, Mark Barber, WKYT. Thanks so much, Mark. New this morning, a woman is dead and a man is fighting for his life after an Adair County crash. It happened yesterday on Kentucky 206, a few miles east of Columbia. State police say 38-year-old Brian Harvey and 40-year-old Ina Copley were in an SUV that ran off the road. Copley died and Harvey was taken to a Louisville hospital in critical condition. We're tracking the investigation this morning into a Lexington crash that killed two young men. It happened yesterday afternoon on Versailles Road near Terrace View Drive. Police say two cars crashed head on. Investigators say the driver of the Civic there died at the scene. One of his passengers died after being taken to the hospital. Two other people were hurt in the crash. The coroner has not released any names at this point. The coroner says he found out alcohol in one of the cars. The road was shut down for several hours, leaving many onlookers shocked at what they saw. 
New details this morning in the search for a missing Kentucky teenager. The Grayson County Sheriff's Office says 13 year old Cheyenne Phillips and her 18 year old boyfriend, Dalton Hayes, were spotted in South Carolina. They were still driving a red 2006 Toyota Tacoma with a Kentucky farm tag. Police say they were spotted Monday at a Walmart in Manning, South Carolina, about an hour east of Columbia. Investigators say a gun was in that truck when the teenager stole it. U.S. Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky is making headlines this morning for some comments about government waste. He says some people game the system to get undeserved disability payments. WKYT's Whitney Wetzel reporting this morning. Some of his opponents now call the comments offensive, so she'll update us on that. Good morning, Whitney. Good morning. Senator Rand Paul made those controversial remarks during a meeting with Republican state lawmakers. That meeting was held yesterday in New Hampshire. During his speech about government waste, Paul said that some people game the system to receive Social Security disability payments that they don't deserve. He said that fraud is a widespread problem in disability programs that are designed to help people who are injured at work. Paul said while there's plenty of people who are legitimately disabled, there are also people who essentially take money from those who need it. Over half the people on disability are either anxious or their back hurts. Join the club. You know, <laughs> who doesn't get up a little anxious for work every day and their back hurts? Everybody over 40 has a back pain. Now, the Democratic National Committee called Paul's comments offensive. Proponents of the current disability benefit system say there are strict standards in place to approve applicants. As a potential presidential candidate, this was Paul's first time visiting New Hampshire, which is the second state that will vote in the 2016 nominating contest. At the live desk, Whitney Watzel, back to you. All right, Whitney, thank you. Some frightening moments at an eastern Kentucky airport when a small plane crash landed there. It happened at the Pikeville Pike County Regional Airport. Investigators say the plane was trying to land at the airport to refuel when it crashed and flipped over. Only the pilot was on board and he was not hurt. Four people were hurt and dozens are homeless after a massive fire at a Louisville condo. Investigators say a man on the first floor of the building was boiling eggs and that's what started this fire. He tried to put out the flames himself, but that fire quickly spread. Firefighters rescued two people and some pets. They say the building is a total loss. Well, if you thought the lines for security were longer than normal at Rupp Arena on Tuesday night, you are not alone. And you were right. Many people who went to Tuesday night's UK game said it took them longer to get through security. So we asked Rupp Arena officials if anything had changed, and they told us they thought it would be a good safety measure to start inspecting coats. Arena officials say no specific event nor threat triggered the change, but the attacks in France last week did raise awareness. The Kentucky Tourism Development Finance Authority has given preliminary approval to Kentucky Kingdom in Louisville for an expansion project. The state says Kentucky Kingdom is planning to spend about $15 million for renovations and additions of new rides as well. All right, so a good time for everyone. Let's check to see how things are moving on the uh, roads this morning with Officer John. Yeah, time is coming up on 608, and we say good morning, Don. How you doing? Hey, good morning, gang. We're in pretty good shape right now downtown. Just had a look at Main and Vine Street, also on South Broadway, and it looks like traffic steady for the most part in those areas. On Harrodsburg Road, uh, still doing okay through the crossover. No significant delays to deal with there just yet. Let's get a look outside, and we'll show you what to expect as you plan to head out the door this morning with a live look at I-75 and 64. That is a northern split. Watch for any patches of leftover ice this morning on the way in, by the way, especially on the exit ramps. Uh, on our Waze map, uh, we're okay for now. Check, check the exit ramp off of uh, Tate's Creek Road, uh, off the circle at Tate's Creek. Also uh, at Richmond Road, and both ramp, ramps are moving okay. So we'll keep you up to date. Now back to you in the studio. All right, Don, thank you very much. And Officer Don and Deanne are on 98 1 the Bull this morning when you get in your car. Hey, we're glad you're with us on WKYT this morning, and we're just getting started. A guy who makes his living on the ice takes a nasty spill after being ejected from the game. Coming up the fall, he just like to forget. <laughs> right. That one is pretty good. And speaking of falling as well, boy, you get on some of these sidewalks and some of these roads with this snow on the way. That could cause some issues there on the grounds. We'll track the latest snow and talk all about it in your forecast, what you can expect out of this. Coming up next.